Sunday free day. Only one free day, dude. I couldn't imagine. Literally wild to me. Talking about the weekend and it's just one day. Hey, we've even got the old music too. So what's it gonna be? Receive student council tasks March. Wow, there's a lot. Angler management. My brother and I are having a fishing battle, but I'm gonna need your help to actually make it happen. So if you've got the time, we'll be at the fishing spot in Trista. Okay, let's talk Trista. I plan on starting a brand new show here at Radio Trista, but I'm gonna need your help to get the first broadcast just right. If you've got time to make radio history, meet me at Trista Radio Station. Junk wanted. A bunch of students are helping us put on a flea market, but we haven't got as much to sell at our stalls as we'd like. Mind remedying that? Stop by my store and I'll give you the particulars, please and thank you. And that's Brandon. Class Warfare. Ladies and- Oh, Patrick! Ladies and gentlemen of Class 7, it's time to finally settle which of our classes is superior. Come to the Academy field fully equipped and prepared for defeat. And then Angelica. You've been getting pretty good at riding my old bike. Get in to pique my curiosity. I want to settle once and for all which of us is the better rider, and there's only one way to do that. If you're up to the challenge, come find me in the engineering building. There's one specifically addressed to Reen. There's one from the radio station, a request for help with the flea market. These all seem worth doing, and pretty fitting for the last three day of the year, too. It's only about nine in the morning, so I've got plenty of time to work through everything. Let's get to work! So, funnily enough, about reporting quests. To report quests, speak to Toa in the Student Union building directly. By selecting Report Progress, you can receive rewards for any quests completed. So, does that mean we can still hit the max rank, even though it's uh, pretty much after the fact? Hmm. But I'm surprising, not a single request to visit the, um, thing. Have we heard this theme before? I don't think we've heard this theme before. Hmm. First, let's see what's going on here. Is that? Oh, Alan. Howdy, Reen. You know, sometimes I feel bad about how much we shopkeepers ask of you. Sorry about that. <laughs> Seriously, it's no sweat. I actually find it kind of fun. This is the last free day of the year, too, so I might as well make the most of it, right? Time sure flies, doesn't it? You really have been doing this for a whole year now. <laughs> Still, this is no time to be getting all misty-eyed thinking about the past. We've got work to do. So let's get to it. Sounds good. Your request says you needed some help with your flea market stall, right? Something about not having as many items to sell as you were hoping for? You got it. The market itself's a joint effort between us merchants and some of the students. But the whole thing's kind of being tossed together on short notice, so people haven't had much time to donate items for our stall. That's a shame. After all the work that's gone into it, I'm sure everyone wants the flea market to be a big hit. But you can't stay open very long if your stall doesn't have much to sell. Hit the nail right on the head there, Reen. So what I want you to do is go around and see if you can find anything for us. Think you can help us out one last time? Yeah. How could I say no to that? But, uh, how many more items are we talking about here? Hmm. Well, one more would be appreciated, but two more would be ideal. More than that, and you'd be my favorite person in Trista. It might not be easy to find anything, though. I mean, as brief as the window was, we did already ask people to donate. I'd guess most of the people who just had stuff on hand to give us have already done so. I getcha. So we'll have to sniff out items that got ignored for whatever reason, probably. I don't even know where to start. I'll see what I can do, though. Thanks, I'm counting on you. Quest Junk Wanted started. So three plus items. Hmm. The Wind Orchestra is going to be performing at the flea market today, so I'm going to bring Bridget a bite to eat. She's always there to cheer me on at the fencing club, so it's my turn to do the same. Uh, I mean, that's what any good boyfriend would do. Hmm. Are we gonna have anybody with green exclamation points pop up? That'd be pretty merciful. Yes! Alright! 
start off with Mixed. The guy who sold us our very first Blade deck. Wow. Whoa, Lumber Blitz is making a comeback? Now that's promising. Good to see you again, Mixed. Back in the horse racing saddle again, I see. Don't get smart, but yeah. Now that the racetrack's open again, I'm back in my element. I'm really glad I told you kids to go out there and get that war ended. I don't want to live in a world without the spring races. Look, I can tell you ain't happy about the whole hero thing, but just try to take it one step at a time. You can't exactly run away from being the Ashen Chevalier, so you might as well work on dealing with that burden. Yeah, you're right. Valimar's a part of my life now, so it's time I start thinking about that. Uh, what that means for me from here. Heh, <laughs> good. But don't get started just yet. It's your last free day of the year. You're not gonna waste it worrying. Take the day off. <laughs> I think I might. Hmm, if anyone in this town has stuff that they can't sell to save their life, it's gonna be mixed. I wouldn't be surprised if he had something to donate for the flea market. Maybe I should ask. Green asked Mixed if he had any items that could be sold at the flea market. Kid, I run a pawn shop. Why would I want to donate my stuff to a flea market for free when I could sell it to some sucker here? You raise a good point. And business is booming, I'll have you know. If you want something from me, you're gonna have to give me something in return. See, that's the beauty of capitalism. There's no way there isn't at least one thing here he'll never be able to sell. I wonder if there's something I could do to cheer him up and make him feel a little more generous. Talk about Toval! <laughs> Man, I can't wait for the spring races to start. I'm gonna have to win big and kick this year off right! Oh good, more irresponsible gambling. Why am I not surprised? Still, that might be a good starting point. Maybe I could try and find something horse-related to give him. So I guess we have to hit up Usus or something? Huh. It looks like there actually might be a lot more to this request than I thought. But uh, first things first, let's go to the bookstore and hit up Usus. If Usus doesn't have anything for us, then we'll go to the field. Usus, I hope you know that I intended on buying that political textbook you have in your hand. And here I was, ready to purchase it because I'd heard it could prove useful in running the Kreutzen province. But this is the last copy. How should we go about solving this problem? I have an idea. The Academy chess clubs are facing off against each other again later today. I know the upper class students were looking for a helper for their team, so why don't we use that to settle this? Very well. I'd been hoping for a rematch anyway. I'll just kiss already. I was literally thinking that. I was like, why don't you guys just kiss and decide it that way? And here I thought the remainder of our time here would be competition free. It seems to be our fate to clash whenever we're within earshot of one another. Very well. I would be happy to prove my superiority once and for all. Huh. I must have done something to make Adios happy for her to give me a chance like this before I leave. I want the book, sure, but winning it is secondary to showing that arrogant windbag is proper place. <laughs> These guys. So, is it gonna be Paula or is it gonna be Elisa or something? Ah, no, it's those guys. Alright. I forgot about that. Well, I didn't forget, but it's not. Here we go. Huh. <laughs> Your coat's looking just as marvelous as ever today, Woodcomb. And to think, this is just the beginning of our journey to greatness together. He's gonna take the horse with him? You seem even happier than usual today, Lambert. What's going on? Ah, I haven't told you the good news yet, have I? Just the other day, Woodcomb and I entered a horse show in Heimdall. Not only did we get to experience the joy of entering, but we were even awarded a prize. Seeing someone else officially recognize Whitcomb's uh, excellency fills me with glee! <laughs> wow, that's quite the achievement! Congratulations to, uh, to both of you. I can't say I'm terribly surprised, though. Whitcomb really is an amazing horse. Why, thank you! I actually took a group photo of all the prize-winning horses. Please, take it, I have more! 
received commemorative photograph. Wow, this is a great picture. And these horses really do look like they deserve to win. Hmm. You know, I could see Mitch loving a photo like this. Maybe I should show it to him. All right. So we've got Mitch in the bag. Hmm. You again? What do you want? I found something I thought you might be interested in, Mitch. Reen handed Mitch the commemorative photograph. Hmm? Is this a photo from this year's horse show? <laughs> Man, nothing but top tier horses here. Especially these two. If they started racing proper, I think they'd really clean up. But now that I've seen them, I can get to know them before they hit the big leagues. There ain't a bet I won't win. Great. I didn't think he was going to like it this much. Ah, fine, you win. Let me see if I've got any junk that might go faster at that damn market than it would here. Give me a minute. Ha, <laughs> your generosity is awe-inspiring. There. Received paper mache Mishi. Huh. Wasn't this from Class 5's event at the Academy Festival? I guess. Don't care. They brought it here and now it's in my way. So if you want to get rid of it for me, that'd be just great. Just don't bring it back. It's yours now. Then why didn't you just give it to me when I, a uh, when I first asked you? Well, who cares? I did what I set out to do. And now I've got my first item. I can go and take it over right away, but I'm sure there are more to be found. Yep. So outside of Mixed... We've got... Class 7's dormitory's got something to give up. I think. Well, yeah. There's gotta be a reason, right? Like this is up higher. Nope. Is this Instructor Sarah's room? Yeah. Is there something here we can nab? Yeah. I never thought it was possible for this room to get any messier until now. I mean, I know she's busy with getting all her work in order before she leaves, but would it really be that much extra effort to get rid of those bottles? Or at least stand them up? She said she was going to be getting ready to move out soon, too. Maybe I should go and remind her. Uh, but where is Instructor Sarah? Here. And then those bottles hopefully are some sort of item. Like a rare vintage or something. What brings you here? Finally built up the courage to ask me to treat you to a dr uh, ask me to treat you to a drink? Because you know I'd be happy to. When I tell you I'm too young to drink, you're just a bunch of static, or is there some other problem? I'm here to tell you that you might want to start getting your room in order. You're going to regret it if you leave it until the last minute and end up panicking over getting everything done. Well, you know, actually, now that I think about it, I'm sure it'll all work out. I know Sharon will be more than happy to help. No, anything but that! Ah, fine. You win. I'll get right on it. But you're going to be helping me. This was all your idea. <laughs> well, I suppose I've got some time to kill anyway, so sure. And then we'll find an item we can pick up. Hey, managed it. Phew, you're a real lifesaver. I didn't think that'd wear me out so much. I'll go toss the rest of the garbage out so you can stay in here and rest up. Ah, uh, blessed is the instructor who has capable students, for upon them shall be thrust the bulk of the work. Even if that's what you're thinking, do you actually have to say it while I'm in- Well, uh, <laughs> right when I'm within earshot? 
Oh, right. Let me give you these. You really helped me out today, but don't think of this as a reward. It's just that I've finished them already. So you might as well take them. The last thing I need is a pile of books weighing down my luggage. Received Cornelia Collection. Are you just dumping your old books on me and trying to play it off as generosity, or am I missing something? You wound me, Reen! With how well you know me. Thanks for taking them off my hands. Give them a read. Or don't. Whatever you want. They're yours now. Hmm. Now that I look at these, they seem like they might be worth selling at the flea market. With these, that makes two things for the flea market then. That should be plenty. I could always try looking around for more things, though. The more things I can drag in, the better. And we will be doing just that. Hop back out here so that we can see... Um, that couple, I think, they had two green... Um, oh, there's somebody over there. No, I think that's the fishing person. Yeah. Oh, they... Um, reunited. Hmm. Uh... No, I think... Hold on. Quest. Hmm. Angler management. Who is this? Is that Kenneth? This spot looks perfect for fishing. That is Kenneth. This spot looks perfect for fishing. Yes, Reen, we heard you the first time, dude. Maybe there's somebody um we have to find the, another item in Trista. Or in the academy rather. Hmm. Yeah, he's probably got something. And then who else? We've got the fight. The engineering building. You know, the janitor might know where I could find something for the flea market. He might have donated everything he had already, but there's no harm in asking. Reen asked Guiler if he had anything that could be sold at the flea market. Oh, you're looking for items for the market too, are you? Afraid I already donated everything I had to give. Sorry about that. No worries, I figured as much. With Becky and Hugo as worked up as they are, I'd be shocked if they hadn't asked him a long time ago. But even though I'm out of items, that doesn't mean I'm out of ideas. There was some student who asked me to collect everything they didn't need just a while ago. They told me it was pretty hefty though, so I haven't gone and done it yet. But who knows, maybe that's something you could sell at the flea market. Really? Yeah, that could definitely be worth looking into. Who was it? I don't remember the name. All I remember is that they were a second year. They also told me the thing they wanted me to pick up was the result of hours and hours of club work, so that might help. Hmm. Okay, so I'm looking on the lookout for a second year who's really dedicated to their club. Sure, I can do that. Thanks for the tip, Guyler. Not at all. I just wish I could have been more helpful. Me thinks that's probably going to be Gaius's senpai. Maybe she didn't she wouldn't specifically have mentioned it, but. It sounds like she would have something heavy. Her club makes stuff, she's super devoted to it. Yup, called it right. Can I help you with something, Reen? Oh, it's nothing major. Tyler said there's a second year student trying to dispose of an unwanted item. Hmm, maybe I should ask Clara? Reen asked if they had anything unwanted that could be sold at the flea market. Unwanted items. Yeah, sure. You were the one the janitor meant? But he said it was this big, heavy thing resulting from many hours of club work. Wait, is it... That's right, but I've been working on this year. It's way too big and heavy to take back with me. Go ahead and do whatever you want with it. But you spent ages working on it. I'm surprised too. You've always taken such great care with your work. Please. Art's value is decided the moment it's finished. There's no point in hoarding all your finished pieces around. Still, it's kind of a shame to just... I don't know. 
get rid of it. I can see where she's coming from. Hopefully it finds a good home with someone who appreciates its value. It's in the storeroom anyway. Hop to it, Warzel. Sure thing. Received lion sculpture. Cool! Thank you very much for your contribution. Oh, can it. If you're done, let me get on with my work. I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> Sorry about that. I think this will work great as a third item. Probably found more than enough now, too. Let's get all this stuff to Brandon and see if he likes any of this stuff. Alright. Trista... General Store. I can't believe I was actually able to follow all the hints, though, dude. Usually I have a lot more trouble. I've got a ton of items now. More than enough to make him happy, I'm sure. I better hand them in. So, did you manage to scrounge anything up? You bet I did. Reen handed Brandon what he found. Whoa, how'd you find all these? Every single one of them's rare, too. <laughs> Put these out and the customers will come running. Nice work. Our stall's really looking up, and it's all because of you. Much obliged. <laughs> all I really did was walk around talking to people, and I'm an expert at that by this point. Although, it has been a while since I've done it in Trista. No surprises there. You've done this every single free day you've had all year. But even if your free days weren't exactly free, you've saved the bacon of every shop over in Trista time and time again. So thanks on behalf of everyone. Here, let me give you some extra stuff today. Don't even try to say no. Yes! Not sure how much use we're gonna have for all of this stuff, but hey! These are really nice! I won't say no, but are you sure about all this? And with all you've done for me and the people of Trista this past year, I'd say you've more than earned it. But we'll work you even harder next year. <laughs> I knew there had to be a catch. Quest Junk Wanted completed. AP increased by one. We are still earning AP. There's still a chance, guys. It is not over just yet. Um, I guess next up we'll go to George. I'm um, not George, but Kenneth, and see what they're up to. This spot looks. Hey, Kenneth, and Annabelle, too! It's good to see you again, Reen. So you saw our request? I saw it, yeah. I wasn't quite sure what it was actually requesting, though. Mind clearing things up for me? Oh, I guess that makes sense you should, uh, since you've been away from Trista for so long. Where do I start? I'm sorry, this is really all my fault. So they're gonna have a fishing competition over who gets to marry her? <laughs> Come on, you know that's not true. My brother's just being a pain. Yep, still lost. I guess I've gotta fill you in on a few things, huh? So basically, our parents set up an arranged marriage between Annabelle and my brother. We already knew that though, really? That's right. Her family's been harassing her about when she's actually going to walk down the aisle, though. As you can imagine, she's not exactly thrilled about all that. If I may be so bold as to interject, Lady Annabelle was not even informed of this arrangement until after it had been decided and agreed upon. Wow, she had no agency in this whatsoever? As one would expect, she was thoroughly shocked when she found out. She even went so far as to run away from home, which in turn had a stark effect on her once elegant personality. I had no idea. Well, I have been gone for nearly a year. I feel as though some of the fault rests on my shoulders as well. As such, should the engagement's cancellation become realizable, I will do everything I can to make that happen. Wait, are you saying it's possible to call all this off? It may be. Obviously, the first thing I did was ask my parents to call things off, but they wouldn't listen. Their only response was, it wouldn't do to insult a man of the Empire for no good reason. Whatever that means. Ha! Ah, nobility. So, with that escape route closed, I figured I'd try to go to the man himself and see if he'd call things off. 
My brother, charmer that he is, wasn't having any of that. He gave us a similar line about nobles not going back on their promises, and that was that. I imagine his greatest concern is our respective family's social statuses. The head of the Lake Lord family is only a baron while my father is a viscount. I get it. He's worried that not going through at the wedding would be an insult to a family of higher status, huh? This kind of stuff makes upper-class society a real pain sometimes. You're telling me... Marriages of status and convenience often take precedence over those of love among the uh, nobility, that much is true. But for my part, I wish for nothing more than Lady Annabelle's happiness. And this arrangement certainly isn't that. So with that in mind, I decided to talk to my brother one more time. Eventually, we managed to reach a very Lake Lord compromise. We'll settle this with an old, noble tradition. The fishing battle. Aha! Now I get it! Fishing battles were split into two parts, right? Obviously, the main events between the two actual challengers, or captains in this case. Before that, their chosen vice captains face off. So that means... It took you a while to get there, but you got it. As team captain, I'd like you to fish as my vice captain. I'd ask Animal to compete, but that seems kind of... wrong? I don't know. Yeah, I figured as much. You guys have both done a lot for me, so I'd be happy to help, but... Do you really think I'm up for this? I mean, Animal's future's on the line, and I've got... And I've fished with you enough to quake in my boots when I hear the name Lake Lord. It's not like I've never fished before, but I'm not an expert by any means. If Reen's angler rank were higher, I'm sure he'd be saying different stuff. <laughs> You'll be fine. You've just got to pick things up as you go along. That's ridiculously over-optimistic, even by my standards. I'm not going to pressure you into doing it or anything else, so if you want to pass, just pass. Still, what do you say? Let's fish. Why not? Let's get fishing. I don't know if I'm up to snuff, but if you believe in me, maybe I've got this. Thank you so much. You have my humblest thanks for doing this for Lady Annabelle. You've definitely got this. Together we're gonna save Annabelle from this wedding of hers. I know we will. <laughs> I'm so grateful to the both of you for helping me out like this. So what does a fishing battle actually... Like, do we just have to fish up something that's bigger? Roughly 10 minutes passed. Eventually, Lake Lord III and his vice captain emerged and began making their way towards them. Whoa, that's what he looks like? Oh. Well, look who it is. It's been a while. Hmm, you haven't changed a bit. Still as lively as your bait, I see. How splendid. Oh, how splendificent it is to meet you, and to speak with you again, Kenneth. <laughs> Good to see you in high spirits, Narcis. So, what do you say we dive right in? No sense in lollygagging. This spot will do, I suppose. Fis uh, Fish of Trista rejoice, for I have returned to grace your waters with my line once more. So that's the heir of the Lake Lord family. He definitely seems a lot more noble than you do. No offense. But how is he already familiar with the fishing spots around here? I'm assuming he's a um, he's a Thor's alumnus. <laughs> well, he is a Thor's grad. All right. I guess if he loved fishing as much as you do, then he'd probably know the city from front to back. Lady Annabelle, how simply splendid it is to see you again. I hope that you will be suitably entertained by the spectacle that is about to unfold before you. Thanks. I'm sorry that my selfishness made you come all the way out here. Please, there's no need to apologize. This is entirely the fault of my foolish brother needlessly complicating things. I swear on my family name that I will defend our marriage. There is no need to worry your pretty little head. Yeah. So, I, uh, <laughs> I have surmised that you are Kenneth's Vice Captain. Who am I? I am the delightacular and styliferous gentleman, Narcis. Though you might know me by my alias, the Crazy Wave. Not only do I hail from the Imperial Fishing Club led by Lake Lord III, I'm, I'm one of its exquisite Elite Four. Allow me to offer you my most enthusiast, enthusiast, 
Oh, he's just saying, okay, enthusiastic. That is just enthusiastic. I'm looking at this word, like, how did he change it? Nope. Enthusiastic contrafibularities. I'm being chosen to face me today. May our battle be splendentious. I love this guy. I'll uh, do my best too, I think. What a commendatorious attitude! Mark my words, young man, you will go far! Do they pay this guy by the word or something? <laughs> hmm. Well, now that we've exchanged our greetings, I'll get right to explaining the rules. The goal of each part of this battle is the same. Catching a designated fish, first the vice captains will compete. The team whose vice captain catches their fish first will enjoy the advantage of starting the second round early. I see. Sounds like a fair battle format to me. Any skilled angler should be able to guide a capable vice captain after all. The outcome of this battle will determine the fate of your arranged marriage. And we don't even get to save first, dude. Are you absolutely certain you wish to proceed with this, Lady Annabelle? I am. I am prepared to accept the outcome no matter what it may be. If you're sure. In that case, we're going to fish like we've never fished before and make sure you're happy. Oh, by the way, what fish will we be catching? Our vice captains will be attempting to catch a noble carp. I assume you are being rhetorical when you ask what we'd be catching. The giant swordtail is the only acceptable choice. Going after the big guy, huh? The most elusive fish in Trista? I've heard the rumors myself. A huge 250 rage sword tail who survived decades of battle. If we caught him, we'd be able to stuff our faces for two whole weeks and still have some left over. Lady Annabelle, please. If you wouldn't mind acting a little more like a lady of the nobility, it would be very much appreciated at this delicate time. <laughs> now that's the Annabelle I know. All right. Well, like he said, you're going to be catching a noble carp. You can use all the ground baits you like, but I don't know how much you have on you. Here, take some of mine. Ground bait times five. Thanks, these will really come in handy. You can leave the area before you catch your fish, but we'll be in trouble if they catch theirs first, so don't wander off. Nah, no sightseeing tours for me. I guess I should get started. Good luck, Reen. We will be quietly and respectfully cheering you on. I see you've complimented your preparations. Well then, let the battles commence. May the best man win. Vice Captains, assume your position. So formal. And to begin. Alright, so now I'm guessing round one, Vice Captain Battle. Control Reen and catch a Noble Carp. Uh, can we cancel and save? Okay, we will be saving first though before we do anything. 